A debate about sending battle tanks to Ukraine has erupted in Belgium, even though its military has no extra tanks to send. That's because one private citizen has a warehouse full of them. The CEO of a Belgian weapons manufacturer says he's willing to sell his store of German-made Leopard 1 tanks to the government, though they would need quite a bit of fixing up. In this warehouse in rural Belgium, dozens of Leopard 1 tanks sit unused among a catalogue of military paraphernalia. They belong to Freddy Verslois, the CEO of a defence company who purchased them from the Belgian government in 2014. After Germany agreed to export newer Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine, the businessman said there's been renewed interest in his stockpile. There are governments um, which we have, uh, let's say, currently in discussion. Yeah, uh, I just got a recently a, a call from the Ukraine government. So, yeah, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of interest, but that's because the uh, German government gave export licenses. And until today, that was not the case. But there's also the UK government. We're talking to the Swedish government. So there's a lot of governments interested, but we'll have to see what happens now. The news has sparked a heated discussion in Belgium about if the state should buy back the tanks to send to Kyiv. But Belgian Defence Minister Ludivine Didonair has accused the firm of financial opportunism. These Belgian tanks were sold for a price of 10,000 to 15,000 euros each, as they were no longer working. Nothing prevents us from buying them back, but they are not operational. And we're not going to buy them back at unreasonable prices either. And at the moment, there are Belgian companies that make a margin that is unreasonable. Versloy said the tanks could be battle-ready in months. But regardless of the prospective buyer, the sale would need to be sanctioned by both Germany, where the tanks were made, and Belgium, where they currently reside.